The relationship between the Dutch and the people of the United States goes way back. Maybe the best known example is New Amsterdam, the Dutch trade settlement that we now know under the name of New York. Less well known is that Dutch merchants funded the independence of the United States in 1776. It was the start of a fruitful diplomatic and commercial relationship. A hundred years ago, the reputation of the Dutch in the US wasn't all that great. The Netherlands had remained neutral in the First World War, which was not to the liking of many Americans. Because of this, a small group of concerned Americans gathered in 1921 in New York to form the Netherland America Foundation. Among them, Franklin D. Roosevelt. And in The Hague, the Netherlands, a group of Dutchmen did precisely the same, the Nederlands Amerikaanse Fundatie. Their joint mission to strengthen the bonds between these two countries through the exchange in arts, sciences, education, business and public affairs. Right from the start, the NAF focused on the educational exchange funding for Dutch students and scholars, sponsoring cultural exchange and the fostering of business ties. My name is Kadisha El Ayubi and I studied a law at the University of California in Los Angeles in 2013. And it was a lifelong dream of mine to study in the U.S. since I did an internship in New York in 2007. As we know, studying in the U.S. is quite expensive, especially compared to the Netherlands. And although I was awarded with a Fulbright scholarship and a scholarship from the Dutch Cultural Fund, I still had a gap to bridge in my budget. And that's when I decided to apply for the NUF Loan Program. I have a Fulbright Research Grant, which is a specific award, uh, the Flood Management Award, sponsored by the NAF to come to TU Delft and be in the Hydraulic Engineering Department. When I was looking for what I wanted to do after I graduated, I knew I wanted to do water management and be able to use the skills that I had learned in my undergrad, and this seemed like a perfect opportunity to apply that and to come to uh, the nation that helped rebuild my home. NAF also makes a difference in enabling Dutch and American culture to travel across the Atlantic. I think the best way to help people come together and move past those differences is by allowing people to experience different things. And I think this is highlighted with cultural exchange programs. Our youngest endeavor is the Decker Paget Dutch to USA internship program, operated together with the Giving Back Foundation for young Dutch people who are the first in their families to go to university and want to develop their talent in the United States, but don't have the network or the funds to do so without support. It was really great. Um, it was personal, like for myself it was great. I made lots of friends, um, I celebrated Thanksgiving, I went to uh, baseball games and stuff like that. But it's also really great for my future career because it looks so good on my resume that I went to Boston, I did this, uh, this internship and I got this scholarship. All of these programs cost money, tuition fees are rising, the cost of living has increased, and government funding of education and culture has changed drastically in the Netherlands as well as in the United States. It is vital that we keep enabling the exchange of talent between our two countries. Now, more than ever, this is the way to keep our two peoples connected. I'm an alumnus as well, and I can tell from my first-hand experience how much positive impact a study in the United States has had on my professional and personal life. And it's essential we keep on funding the NUF. And the NUF over the past years has successfully called on many corporates and individuals in both the US and the Netherlands. But tonight we call on you. So please, be generous, bid in the auction or support a fellowship. Thank you so much for your support. Have a wonderful evening and see you next year.